one mad to the other on one cold butchering day. What shall we do with it? I don't know. Chuck it to the dogs for something to play. So outside the bladder was thrown into the straw-filled street and landed with a thwack upon a local hoodlum's feet. Bored and itchy with mange mites waiting for some trouble to brew, he looked at his peculiar projectile and sought to who to kick it to. A foul-smelling gift. It was kicked back. So he sent it down the street. Rolling, it reeked its way down to where the rabble liked to meet. Landing in the middle of the mob, it sat there, gorbular, putrid and brown. Goading the hostiles into warfare, dividing the masses of the town. It could be never to Liverpool. A contest ensued between the two tribes. Swinish broods, bestial growls and gnashing, clawing for a chance to kick their unwanted, one, their unwanted prize to the other side in a primeval bashing. One goal to reach, an invisible frontier. No rules to break, just pride in noses. And from each side a vanquisher appeared, striking, bringing hope to the masses. Yes! The globe of flesh was conquered by man. As their hero passed over the impalpable line, Journeying through time, it rolled into the football, exonerating the battlefield and his illogical times. Anyway, we're bringing it home. Tears or not. There you go. <laughs>